Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball has suspended, or not suspended, I don't guess, but they've paused the season for the Miami Marlins. And we'll walk through this really quickly. They have shifted the schedule. And basically, I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of it. The Marlins will not be playing before Monday. So we got a whole week before they'll be playing. And more than likely, when they come back, it's going to be secondary guys, minor leaguers that are called up, et cetera. They've got a 30-man roster they can pull from. They've already had 15 players test positive and two managers. So they're going to be pulling up a lot of people. They're going to be calling all kinds of people to come in here. Um, But the way it works, Marlins not playing before Monday. The Phillies don't get to play until Friday. They're the ones that just played the Marlins over the weekend. The Yankees at the Orioles is happening Wednesday and Thursday. So the Orioles, who were supposed to play in Miami yesterday, are now going to be playing the Yankees. The Orioles, uh, sorry, the Yankees, who were supposed to play the Phillies, they are going to be playing in Baltimore. The Nationals are off this weekend because the Marlins were supposed to be their opponent this coming weekend. So you have affected a ton of teams there, right? The schedule has to be shifted and whatnot. Major League Baseball, let's talk about this before we discuss the implications of this across the sporting landscape. Ben jumps in and said, Poor Marlins, nothing good has happened for them since they changed their name. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, they were still the Florida Marlins last time they won a World Series. Damien said, White Sox players got COVID right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's right, but maybe I missed it. Uh, but I will do a search right quick just to see. But, yeah, Um uh, of course, I don't. I, is there? Yeah, there's a game going on. They're down one to. They're down four to one against the Indians. That's what he's talking about. Ben said not to say they didn't deserve most of it. Yeah, the the Marlins situation. They they've won two World Series. They they've had some some issues because it, it's a small market. It's not a small market team, but it's a small ownership group that basically, as soon as they win a World Series, they tear it back down and they try to build it back up again. So for them, it's kind of a game. And I understand that. I mean, I totally get what they're doing because they don't want to just put a whole bunch of money into this thing over and over and over again. If you can build it up and win on a budget, that's fairly impressive. What they've done is fairly impressive. Let's uh, let's get back to talking about this, though. Major League Baseball, they have discussed exactly what happened here. This is not an overwhelming thing that is happening to the sport. They are not going to shut down. They had a plan for this. You had to expect it to happen at some point. Now, it sucks that it happened the first weekend, right? That's what you hate to see. But they're not shutting down the season. They have had 6,400 tests conducted since Friday, July 24th, so just a few days ago. Of those, zero new positives of on-field personnel or any of the other nine or other 29 clubs. That outcome is in line with encouraging overall data since the June 27th start of testing through last Thursday, July 23rd, there were only 99 positives out of 32,640 samples. 0.3% had been positive. That is a pretty good metric. That means that they have been doing things right. So, Michael said the Marlins should follow the Raiders and just head to Vegas. I'm not going to disagree with that at all. Uh, ben said, seems like they had a, a half-decent team this year, too. I mean, they started out 2-1. and one. You know, they whipped up on the Phillies. They they put up 12 runs at one point. I mean, my goodness. So, yeah, I, I don't think the Marlins were awful. Um, but this is definitely going to put a damper on things. So, they're not going to get to play again until Monday. Now, the other side of this, other than the fact that, you know, aside from the Marlins, nobody else has tested positive. Aside from that, you got to look at this and think how awesome is it that they have the flexibility to change the schedule around just like that. I mean, just as quick as you can do it. They decided today that the Yankees are going to go to Baltimore now, so the Yankees are not playing the Phillies, and Baltimore is not playing the um, uh, the Marlins. So from that, you just toss up the Yankees and the Orioles, and then you'll change up the schedule later on in the season and go from there. Michael said, quick question, if they're pulling guys up from their farm system, why can't they just play games as scheduled? Uh, there's a, from what I understand, 
it takes a little bit of time to get the guys in because remember the farm system is not playing right now. So you have to give these guys time to warm up, time to uh, get their bodies a little bit acclimated. Now they've been working out, et cetera, but they're not in a position to be able to fly in, especially with travel restrictions and whatever. It, they they can't necessarily fly in immediately. So it takes a little bit of time to get that thing rolling, but you're not going to see, like it's a, it's a mandatory 14-day quarantine once you test positive. So these guys, now the other question is this, what in the world is going on with the Marlins being able to just have a, a team meeting through a group chat and decide that they're going to play even though they had four positives to start with? I mean, in what world is that okay? Why would they let those guys play? Or why would they let anybody play, for that matter? I mean, it just seemed incredibly irresponsible to me. Damien said six White Sox players got COVID. It was reported today. I did not see that. I was reading from Major League Baseball's press release from like an hour and a half ago. Um, and that's a little strange that... Da, 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 da. Let's see. Renteria returns to manage White Sox after COVID-19 scare. Let's see. Nope. Nope, nope. Test negative, test negative. White Sox announced two players test positive for COVID-19, and that was on Sunday. Okay, so this was uh, this was after Friday that the MLB had, had done their numbers. So the White Sox have two players, and that's it. Either way, baseball will continue. Sports will go on. Life will go on. Uh, <laughs> ben said, by the way, bad move betting against the A's yesterday. Yeah, I know. I know. A's against Rockies today. Let's go Rockies. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. I've, uh, I've got money on the twins today. So we'll, we'll see what they end up doing. I mean, who knows? Who knows? But, uh, but yes, with this whole thing, college football and the NFL need to pay attention to how easy the flexibility is in their scheduling. Um, and Damian said, my bad, I thought it was six. Hey, it's all good, man. Hey, these numbers are crazy. There's just numbers everywhere right now. Uh, for those that are not analytical or that don't like analytics, <laughs> Chris, uh, this is a bad time. <laughs> this is a bad time because everybody's throwing numbers around. Nobody knows what any of them means. You know, it, it's a little bit crazy. But the NFL and college football need to pay attention to the ease of scheduling that Major League Baseball has shown by being able to switch up their schedule however they want to. That's what you're going to have to do in college football. That's why conference only is so important in college football. You don't have to mess with another conference. You don't have to mess with anything. If you have a guy that ends up COVID positive or you've got 15 guys and you can't play that weekend, well, then the other team can go play somebody else and whoever else can play. You can rearrange it the way that you want to to get in all the games and it doesn't have to be set. That's the best part about it. So, same thing with the NFL. The NFL can do this very easily. And if college football goes conference only, they can do it very easily. That's the only way that I see us being able to get in a full season is if we are not stuck to certain times on the calendar, right? Uh, Michael said, since the Marlins caused this by being irresponsible and not following rules, shouldn't they just have to forfeit? Why punish other teams with makeup games? Uh, Damien said, I wonder if those Marlins players were with Lou getting food at the strip club in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's totally possible. Nuclear Skull said, Phase 2 lockdown coming September 2020 and planned as far back as last year. I have the WHO document stating as much. It's called Method of the Revelation. Ah, I mean, we'll see. You uh, you want to toss a link up here. We'll, uh, I'm sure some some of the guys will click on it and whatnot, and I'll, I'll go check it out later. But I think we're going to have college football. I think we're going to have the NFL. We're going to have NBA coming back this weekend. Obviously, Chris and I will talk about it on Friday. Um, we got, or really on Thursday, we got games on Thursday night. I think we are going to have all of this stuff come through and, and we'll survive. We'll get through it. Major League Baseball has shown, hey, you got to be flexible. You got to get through this. Uh, to answer Michael's question about making them forfeit, it, you're, you're hoping that it doesn't come down to having to forfeit games, right? Because you're still in the playoff race. You don't have to adhere to 60 games. If you got some guys that get 55 games, if you got some teams that get 59, 54, 57, whatever, just do it by winning percentage and then go from there. You know, that's what we're looking for. You're getting eight teams in the playoff from, from each side anyway. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. And if you think they were really trying to get COVID, if they were trying to give it to somebody else or whatever, I mean, that's just asinine. That's, that's just not real life. So... 
Uh, with that said, we will move on to...